Hello, I'm Dr. Spencer Skelton, a member of Colorectal Surgery Services. I'm board certified in general surgery, specializing in diseases of the colon and rectum and anus. A perianal abscess and fistula are often linked together, but are two separate things. A perianal abscess is simply an infection in the perianal skin, which can be resulting from a uh, superficial skin infection or from a fistula. A fistula, on the other hand, is usually caused from an infected gland on the inside of the anus or a blocked gland that then forms an infection internally and then drains itself out through the skin on the outside, leading to this tract that can often result in recurrent abscesses. But just because you have an abscess doesn't necessarily mean you have a fistula. Fistulas are common in any age group from the young adult to the elderly. They are more prevalent in patients who have immunosuppression or who have poor diabetic control or because they have Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is an inflammatory condition of the small and large intestine, more commonly in the small bowel but can affect the perianal and rectal region as well. An anal abscess is diagnosed based on a clinical history and a physical exam. Typically, patients experience severe perianal pain and often have a palpable mass that they've felt and is very tender to touch. There can be warmth and induration, and patients often sometimes complain of having a fever. On physical exam, the site of the abscess is often quite apparent in that there is redness and swelling and oftentimes a fluctuant area that can be palpated. This is taken care of in the office on most occasions by just simple incision and drainage of the perianal skin. And this allows the infection to sort of subside and then heal itself. A fistula can be a little trickier to diagnose and that just because you have an abscess doesn't necessarily mean you have a fistula. The first step in all of this is to treat the abscess and to get rid of the infection. And then down the road, a fistula will declare itself and is oftentimes found on follow-up exam after an IND. The treatment for fistula can be very complex or very simple. If a fistula is readily apparent and does not appear to be too deep, a simple fistulotomy or just unroofing the fistula tract is all that's necessary. However, many fistulas are deeper within the anal canal and involve a significant portion of the anal sphincter muscle. Dividing this muscle would result in incontinence. Therefore, several techniques have been employed to treat these, several of which involve using biological components such as fibrin glue or collagen plugs, but there are also additional flap procedures that can be done whether you use a piece of perianal skin or a piece of rectal mucosa as a cover for the internal uh, fistula hole. It is understandable the concern that someone would have with anal rectal pain as it may represent something more serious. That is why you should be evaluated by a colorectal surgeon so that you can get the appropriate diagnosis and treatment.